Hi, I'm Jake Reister, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from Madhu, who is building an app that's sort of like Instagram, where users can add photo effects, and is wondering whether it's better to go native or use web technologies. The biggest thing when you're dealing with this um, for performance reasons is if you're dealing with large photos especially, um, you want to try to use the GPU as much as possible for adding these image effects. And uh, that's certainly possible in native, and a lot of platforms like iOS and Android will actually provide some nice frameworks and libraries that'll make that a lot easier. But it is possible in web if you're targeting the, the right platforms and devices, um, especially if you can use something like WebGL, which is supported in some of the latest uh, desktop browsers as well on Chrome for Android. Um, you'll be able to get pretty good performance using that. Um, but if you are targeting a device which doesn't support WebGL, such as iOS devices, um, you're probably going to have to use like the HTML5 canvas. And uh, depending on how big the image is, you could run into some performance issues. It still would be possible, but if you want the snappiest performance, um, it's probably easier to go native. Our next question is from James, who is wondering, is it wise to make an app for all of your websites now, or is just having a mobile-friendly, responsive site good enough? And uh, I'd say the biggest thing depends on uh, your user base and what you're trying to accomplish, your functionality. Um, if you already have a responsive website and you find that users are discovering the site without any issues using web-based search engines or the like, and uh, all the functionality you want to accomplish is, can be done through web, then you may be just fine with only a responsive mobile website. The biggest benefit to having an app is discoverability. So if a user opens up the App Store on their mobile device and searches for your brand, you may want to have an app that shows up as the first result, and then you can tailor the experience to more of a, a mobile app style where users kind of have different expectations and there's sort of different conventions. Um, and then there's also the benefit of some hardware features that you wouldn't be able to access through the web. Uh, such as the camera or accelerometer, or if you have any features that need certain some of those sensors that you can't access through web interface, you would need to have an app in order to use those. That's it for this week's edition of Ask a Developer. If you have any questions for us, tweet them with the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.